The project here has been active for quite some time already. It's a software project and we're making use of documents, checklists and issues to work on planning. The code is in two Git repositories. A project can have zero, one or more Git repositories to work on codes. In this project, the main product is in one repo, samples are in another. If you don't have a repository yet, you can create a new empty repository in space, migrate a repository from another Git hosting service, or set up mirroring. In space, you can see all commits in a repository and browse contents. Team members can also chat about code inside the code. For example, if they have a question or think something can be improved, they can involve someone from the team. Use the clone button to find the URL for this repository. You can use any Git client to work with a space repository. If you're using a JetBrains IDE, check out the integration plugin. It helps with cloning a repository more easily and lets you work with code reviews and more, right from within the IDE. IntelliJ IDEA comes with a bundled version of the Space plugin. You can see the projects and repositories you have access to and clone the repository from here. Alright, let's create a branch first on which we can make some changes. This branch will later be merged back into the main branch after a colleague reviews the changes that we're making here. I'll paste the updated code in to speed up things a little bit. No need to see me typing things. With the changes made, let's commit them to our newly created branch. Select the files to commit and then add a commit message. If you're using the space issue tracker, make sure to include the issue number so you get better traceability. Next, push the branch back to space so others can look at it too. Back in space, the git repository now shows the branch that we just created. And from here, you can create a merge request. The changes we just made should go back into the main branch. You can add one or more reviewers who can comment on code or approve the changes that are made. Let's create this review and wait for any comments to come in. While we wait, let me quickly show you one more thing that you may want to customize. Space comes with built-in continuous integration through automation and to make sure that code compiles and that tests are run successfully, you can set a quality gate on merge requests. You can also set the number of required reviewers, so make sure to explore these options. Meanwhile, we have a chat message. Looks like my colleague added a comment and approved the changes in that code review. That's great! Before merging changes, let's switch back to IntelliJ one more time. The IDE plugin that I mentioned earlier also lets you work with any merge requests and code reviews that are open. The same comment that we just saw in the browser can be seen here as well. You can add more comments and explore the changes in codes. But let's continue in the browser and merge changes there. If needed, you can set additional options here and squash commits, change the commit message and more. Our changes have now been merged into the main branch. By including the issue number in the commit message, people on the team can see the linked issue and find the context for certain changes that were made to the code base. There's more to explore. You can write and review code and you can run continuous integration jobs using automation. The merge we just did triggered a validation run and if all goes well, it should result in packages being pushed out into the built-in package repository in space. Do check those out.